hi everyone welcome back to my channel it's your girl alima here oh my god today i'm really really happy i want to share good news with you guys today um my channel finally got approved by youtube and i'm now monetized oh my god i'm so grateful oh my if it's not for you guys i wouldn't have i wouldn't have literally come this far with my channel um for the past year i've worked so so hard to get this far it's been amazing progress and i'm so so grateful that i had this opportunity to create this channel to share the things that i love and you know to do makeup tutorial and so on and so forth i'm so grateful once again i want to say thank you to everybody who has subscribed to my channel thank you so on today program i decided to create this flawless um highlighting and contour i recently did a video that i stated that i'm gonna come out with this highlight highlighting and contour tutorial so here we go so it's i finally managed to get the time to film today so i hope you guys are gonna like this concept okay so if you want to watch the concept how i managed to get this look stay tuned okay continue watching um so please once again don't forget to subscribe hit the notification button so you get regular updates from me each time i upload a new video like and share the video among your friends okay so yeah keep on watching let's get on with the video so i've already done my foundation i've done my eyebrow behind the scene um basically this tutorial today is mainly for contouring and highlighting so i thought i'll get those out of the way so we can concentrate on um doing the highlighting and contouring perfectly okay so what i'm going to be using today i'm going to be using max and uh, max factor face infinity or day flawless concealer and um, this is it guys hope you guys can see it so yeah i'm gonna apply that now so in order to achieve a great um contour and highlight you always need to make sure your foundation is prepped on very well and then you can carry on from there all right so um start up with basically applying some around this side beneath my eye okay so always make sure you don't go closer to your uh, the water line you just you know come down in between and then go on to this side as well so brush it down okay and then head towards the middle of your nose come down I always like to put some around this side, you know, the laugh line so that, you know, when you, it doesn't crease when you laugh and all that stuff. And then chin. So if you're a new beginner to contouring and highlighting, you know, take your time. Everything is a progress. You don't need to rush doing it. And you can put some around here as well. And then on top of your hair, you know, forehead, slightly. Okay. Then you can put some around here as well. sure you just define it very well so when you're putting the um you know when you are using your beauty blender everything blends in very well okay so done that and then the next thing we're gonna take we're gonna take our um super stick by maybelline multi-use foundation stick find a way to put it for you guys to see it this is it it's so much light so that's what it is so I'm gonna take a bit of that and then I'm gonna use a brush 
gonna use a brush to so you basically the way you want to do your um, contour so if you want to put your much see just gauge it from you see where your eye starts so you gauge it from there you work along your nose so when you get want to get that contour you know straight looking nose just start from inner eye and then work your way down and then the same goes to that side so taking a bit of that with your brush you just gauge it gauge it from here work your way down and then the same goes here okay so we've got that line going through make sure it's all straight and then put some around here as well okay so you get that and then your forehead you can just take some and just go so basically if you want to get that brush your cheek to be lifted just take it and just gently work from this where your you know your airlines basically this side just work it down here don't get close to your your tip of your lips just just get around here where my basically from this side from the inner corner of your eye going right down you know just have that square so basically just like you draw in number three basically so you just go three just go like that and then this way to get that shadow so we start from the top yes yeah, start from the top then you work way this way and here and then you go basically that way go down a little bit so you get that shadow and then you do the same thing from this side you can start from there so you just turn around work your way down and then you go from here this way don't come too far and then just carry on from there so you get that three kind of definition so all this bit is going to be basically like a shadow so your face will look immaculate all right so we've done that all right so then you just carry on with blending basically just carry on with the blending and um, so once you've done that now you're gonna take your um your blending you're gonna take your sponge your beauty blender you're gonna wet it slightly wet it like that spray a bit on there and then you're gonna now use it to blend all this in perfectly once that is done then we're gonna finish it off with our powder and things like that okay so you get closer to the camera or to your mirror whatever you're using and just basically blend that in okay so we start from the top first let's start from the top blend that in gently dark color in so with this my um, with this super blendable Maybelline it's got this you know spongy end so it's easy for me to you know get around so do it from here so you brush it up
as you can see the progress is coming along it's hard to blend it in I'm, just, I'm using a different beauty blender this is a smaller one so you just have to you know to get a shadow underneath your neck to you know minimize that double chin you should use this just blend it in you know once you finish blending it in now you're gonna you're gonna do the baking as they call it baking <laughs> so you're gonna take your beauty blender I'm gonna use the same beauty blender I used to you know to do the the middle the highlighting bit so I'm gonna take that and I'm gonna just make sure everything is nicely blended so you don't want to see anything hanging so I'm gonna take the same one and I'm gonna take a bit of my baking powder which I'm using a revolution you know powder that one okay so I'm gonna take a bit of that whilst we are doing the rest of the face you're gonna just dump it in Okay, and then you're gonna get this bit just get this bit bake just get that line okay need a bit more so you get that bit so you can leave it into bake while you do other things with your face this um, baking powder is so nice you know what when I, I got it from super drugs and they say um, limited edition oh I got a bit around here I'll fix it don't worry guys Um, it says limited edition so I was like I was really glad I got this powder because I went back get a friend of mine want one and I couldn't find it again I was really glad to it I was like oh no because it was so it's so nice it's really melts into the skin you know like when you put it on it just melts so beautifully and it really does give a nice um you know reflection um yeah i love it absolutely love it so beautiful so once you get that in with your beauty blender now you're going to take your brush um so i'm going to use this fluffy and um, especially when you're contouring you put the highlight you want to make sure everything is so perfectly blended in Okay, so gently to use your brush to sweep that around. You gotta sweep it off and then do your forehead. Do the same one. As you can see how that just came about so beautifully. So the key to that perfect flawless contour is about blending. So you're gonna make sure you blend, blend well, blend it in, blend everything in. Okay, so now that we've got our powder on, all blended in nicely, we're gonna go in with a just um like a loose powder. You're gonna go with the loose powder. So I'm using once again my x1 um, mineral powder you're gonna use that to buff around the face and then you're gonna go in with a blusher um, you know, and then the rest of the stuff that I need to do to finish off the makeup so I'm gonna go in with this powder to set So the highlights that I'm using is Revolution and this, you know, they've got different colours to it. 
<laughs> I can use it so many times. Oh my god! So I'm I'm gonna go with this. I always I like this two this two colors mainly. Sometimes I use this one here, but this is my favorite. So I'm gonna use what I normally tend to use. So when you're putting the highlighter on, make sure you work around this end here. So you know you don't don't wanna come with too much into your face. Just stay down here somewhere. You know you can smile to get it in. If you're a new beginner, you can smile to get your cheekbone up and I just work it in basically. Work it in. As you can see the differences. Then go here. You can see how beautiful that color is coming. It looks so nice. See how nice that is. And then doing the forehead and this side. I always like to use a fun because I can then work my way around it, you know. But then obviously use what you find comfortable. Okay, and then when we get to the top of the, you know, the bit, this part, I always like to use like a little brush, um, just so you can find just any brush that have like a little tiny ends. I like to use that to get around the nose because you know you want that perfect blending contour nose. You know, highlight on your nose, just work it around here, you know, the top of your tip of your nose, and just work it in. And I'm going afterwards, I'm going to use the fan to blend it in very well. See how that is looking already, it's looking really nice. See how that makes my nose so sparkly, and then take your fan again, and then just gently blend that in, you know. Get that shadow coming through here in, and then at the chin, and just brush it in gently. <laughs> it's quite fun doing this actually, it's like a therapeutic. <laughs> It gets you away from thinking and stressing and like that. And around here, I guess use this smaller brush to go around the lips area. Okay, so in order to make sure, just make sure that everything is blending um, very well. That's the main concept of contouring and highlighting. Just want to make sure your contour and highlights stand out from the crowd. Sorry, my hair is on the way. You know, that's the concept of it. Okay, so now that we've done with that, you're going to go in again with your brush, nothing on, just gently make sure everything is nicely blending, just sweep across the forehead, you know, just don't put anything, just make sure, that will just make sure that, you know, everything is blending very well, you know, all mixed together, you know, that's what we're looking for, that perfect highlights and contour okay so that is done okay and I'm gonna spray a little bit of my fix spray before I go over the you know scene to do my eyeshadow and finish the look all right so just spray a fix spray on up and then 
then leave that on and you can go I'm gonna go off camera now like I said to do my eyeshadow and then my lips and I'll come back to show you guys the final look so yeah I hope you guys are picking up the skills already don't forget to subscribe hit the notification button to get regular updates for me each time I upload a new video comment and share my video okay I'll be right back voila this is the ending of my and contour and highlighting I hope that you guys enjoy this video um, for highlighting and contouring for beginners um, yeah so I thought I would do this um, video because a um, few people requested for it um, so I went on ahead to do it today so yeah so this is the look um, contouring highlighting you always need to make sure your blending game is up it's, you know basically up in the game and you just gotta blend in very well as you can see everything is well blending perfectly yeah so that's it face defined properly and i look glam ready to rock and roll <laughs> so yeah thank you so much for watching the video today thank you for all the subscribers thank you for everybody who has contributed to um you know me coming this far with my youtube channel thank you i'm so grateful for you for you guys okay so running up now don't forget to subscribe hit the notification button so you get regular updates from me comment and share my video among your friends and thank you very much for watching bye bye for now